This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. So let's go through and have a look at that example. See how you get on. Okay. Uh, hopefully you did it under your own steam. Didn't use the answer at the back. Okay. Uh, if you got the answer at the back, don't bother listening. Okay. Move on to the next video. Okay. It's entirely up to you. Don't mind. Uh, so A wanted us to calculate the X right market value, so the theoretical X right price, based upon the fact that it was eight dollars per share currently. We were doing a one for three issue, so we currently have three shares. We will get one new share, and to get that new share, we will pay six dollars. Okay. Uh, did you get seven dollars fifty? Excellent. Okay. Uh, we had three shares at the old value of eight, giving us twenty-four dollars. Uh, one new share, we had to pay six, so that was its worth. Adding the two together goes through there and gives me is it thirty? I now have $30 worth of shares. There are four shares in the pot and 30 divided by four is $7.50, isn't it? Okay. Uh, a bit more tricky is the value of a right. So that's the difference between the X right price and the issue price. Okay. So it's what we will sell those rights for in a moment. Okay. Uh, so the right price was $7.50 or the X right price $7.50 and we paid $6. Okay, so the increase in wealth is there is $1.50. Okay. Who, what have we got there? Okay, uh, let's go through there and have a look at part C. Key bit is that we have, was it 1,200 shares at the old market value of 8 so is that $9,600? Okay, we know that whatever happens, that wealth needs to remain unchanged, provided that we do something in here. What we did is we bought some shares and we sold some rights. Okay, so a little bit of a combination, a bit of a mixture. So what we've got here uh, is we bought half of the shares that we were entitled to, weren't we? So what you've got there, is we originally had 1,200, didn't we? But uh, the 1,200, if we divide that by the three, gives me 400. But we were only going to go through that and by half, weren't we? Okay, so half of 400 is there as 200, isn't it? Okay, so that's the 1,400 shares we now have uh, at the theoretical X right price. Is it of $7.50? So 1,400 times $7.50 gives me 10,500. Uh, we then had to go through there and pay the issue price for those shares. So there was 200 that we bought at $6 issue price is there $1,200. Okay. Don't cheat and work out the next bit as a balancing figure. Do it properly. Uh, you then have the cash from, is it your 200 rights? Because if we bought 200 shares, we have then sold the remaining 200 rights, haven't we? Okay. The 1,200 shares, and we divided it by three, gave us the 400. Okay. Uh, total shares that we were able to get. We bought half of the four and sold half of the four. Okay. And then what we have there, the $1.50 is the value of a right. Okay. So 200 times by the 1.5 gives me 300. And if you go through, do two 500 less one 200 plus 300 gives me there, is it 9,600? Okay, there we go. Excellent. So that goes through there and demonstrates that even if you do half and half, uh, 75, 25, you make many percentage that you so wish, uh, you still end up with there being no change in shareholders. Well, under this rights issue. 
work the questions in the revision kit. Uh, also work the questions in the study text of your chosen tuition provider. Don't just neglect those. I know there's a lot of material in the study text, but the questions that they have, the test your understandings or the, the examples, whatever they're called, uh, work those through as well. They are very useful indeed. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video when we begin to look at what happens to our theoretical X right price if the shares that are now issued are going to generate a little bit more wealth than what they previously had. So I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.